Hello, you are welcome. Here, let's solve this nice exponent problem. From here, we can write this as 2 raised to power 3, then raised to power x. That's same thing as 8 raised to power x, then minus 2 raised to power x equals to root 2 from here. Then, on the law of indices, then we have a raised to power m, then raised to power n. This same thing as a raised to power m n. This power multiplies, and uh, we can also write it as a raised to power n, then raised to power m, since they multiply. So here now we can interchange this, and this will be 2 raised to power x, then raised to power 3, minus 2 raised to power x, equals to root 2 from here. Then, in the next step, we have 2 raised to the power x, come on, so let a letter, so let y be equals to 2 to the power of x, then we replace that with y, we now have y raised to the power 3 minus y will be equals to root 2 from here. Then, from here, let's square both sides of this equation to remove this square root here. So, the square on this side. Then also we square on this side. Then on this side square we cancel square root remit two. Then on this side when we have a minus b square and we expand, this will give us a square minus two a b then plus b square. So that's all we have here. Then when we follow this here, that means we have y raised to power three square. Then minus 2 times y raised to the power 3 times y, then plus y square, will then be equal to from here 2. Then we can simplify this. This power multiplies, and this will give us y raised to the power 6. Then minus 2 times here, we have y raised to the power 4, then plus y square. Then let's take 2 to this side, and that will become minus 2 equals to 0 now. Then from here, when we group this together, and we factor all this common from these two, we can take y to the power 4 out. We have y to the power of 4 out. Here remain y square. Then minus 2 here left. Then plus what is common here is 1. Then we have y square minus 2 which is equal to 0 then from here we have y square minus 2 common so y square minus 2 now out then multiply by y raised to power 4 plus 1 which is equal to 0 two possible cases from here are y square minus 2 equals to 0 y square minus 2 equals to 0 and also from here, y raised to the power 4 plus 1 equals to 0. On this side, we can say y square is equals to 2. And from this side, we say y raised to the power 4 equals to minus 1. Recall from here that y same thing as 2 raised to the power x from the, our, the beginning. So now from here we can say this is 2 raised to the power x raised to the power 4 here is equals to minus 1. Now when we check this side, discover this is a positive, this will be a positive number. Then also here is a negative number. So here there won't be a solution here. This is not possible on this side. So not possible from here. Then on this side, y is 2 raised to the power x, then we slot this here, we now have 2 raised to the power x, then square equals to 2. Then from here, we multiply this power, we have 2 raised to the power 2x now, is equals to 2 raised to the power 1. Then from here, that means we have 2x is equals to 1. Then when we divide both sides by 2 from here, x will now be equals to 1 over 2. So we have the value of x from this problem as 1 over 2. Then to check from what we are given, 
we have 8 raised to the power x minus 2 raised to the power x equals to half, equals to root 2 rather. Then from x equals to half that we got, let's substitute x equals to half here. We have 8 raised to the power half now minus 2 raised to the power half. Is it equals to root 2 from here? Then when we check, we can write this as square root of 8 minus square root of 2. With this be equals to root 2 from here. Then root 8 can be written as root 4 times 2 minus root 2. Is it equals to root 2 from here? Then Let's bring root 4 out as 2 root 2 now. This becomes 2 root 2. Then minus root 2. Is this equals to root 2 from here? Then root 2 is common here. We take it out. Root 2 into bracket. 2 left here. Then 1 will be left here. Then is this equals to root 2 from here? Then when we see this, 2 minus 2 is 1. Then 1 times root 2. That's still root 2 which is equal to root 2. Then we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then we can de therefore conclude from here that x will be equal to 1 over 2 in this given problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Also give a thumbs up, share, like this video. And if you have a comment, put it in the comment section. See you in the next class then. Bye for now.